Hi guys, I'm Sarah Hall, and today I'm going to teach you about soul retrieval. Many of you have requested this video in response to my video on grounding, where I mentioned the practice of soul retrieval as a radical, powerful means of experiencing the benefits of grounding. If you want to watch my grounding video, you can click the little eye icon over here, and the link is also in the description for you below. Soul retrieval is a form of deep consciousness healing in which we retrieve fragmented parts of the soul that have been lost as a result of trauma, either in this lifetime or even in a past life. Retrieving these lost soul fragments is highly empowering, resulting in greater well-being, joy, confidence, and inner peace. Soul retrieval gives us the experience of wholeness and presence. It heals the deeper layers of consciousness to help fundamentally wire us towards happiness, even deepening our ability to meditate and get in touch with spiritual gifts. So you may be wondering, what is soul loss? How do I know if I need a soul retrieval? Well, soul retrieval is when a part of the soul becomes fragmented or breaks off as a result of trauma. This fragment of our soul or part of ourselves retreats to a safe space as a protective measure in an effort to escape the trauma. Trauma has no one size fits all set of parameters because what is traumatic for one person might not be traumatic for another, but some examples of situations that can cause soul loss are any kind of abuse, whether it's emotional, physical, or sexual, accidents, natural disasters, illnesses, injuries, surgery, addiction, divorces and breakups, death of a loved one, acting against our morals, or experiencing war or other forms of social violence. Any event that causes us to feel shocked or deeply emotionally distressed can cause soul loss. But again, do remember that what causes soul loss for one person might not cause soul loss in another. I find it interesting that many shamans teach that alarm clocks can cause soul loss. And I think we can all probably relate to that, huh? <laughs> but in all seriousness, if your alarm clock is part of a schedule or a lifestyle of chronic stress and difficulty in your routine, then certainly that may be a cause for soul loss. In effect, soul loss can actually be considered a good thing. According to the angels, when our consciousness fragments and retreats from harm, this is our natural protective mechanism. It is used to preserve our spiritual essence so that pain and difficulty do not completely alter us or shape us in their image. Soul loss helps to preserve our true, pure self so that when we become whole again through something like soul retrieval, we may recover completely from trauma and return to our healthy, balanced selves. Life can and will go on again after trauma. You can be emotionally and spiritually restored and healed from literally anything you have experienced. According to the angels' messages, there is literally nothing in this universe that cannot be healed. Now, in psychology, soul loss is known as dissociation. Dissociation is the mental process of disconnecting from one's thoughts, feelings, memories, or sense of identity even in cases of severe situations of dissociation. If you've got severe chronic dissociation, this is sometimes seen as a disorder in psychology. And just as with all of our healing needs, there are many paths that we can take to healing. Often after a trauma, soul retrieval begins to take place naturally, bit by bit, as we begin to feel safe again. Soul retrieval can gradually occur without our even really knowing it through traditional psychotherapy, through energy healing, meditation, through yoga, massage, angel healing, somatics, hypnosis, past life healing, and the list goes on and on. When soul retrieval occurs spontaneously, it is usually the result 
of being deeply in touch with ourselves through healing efforts to take care of ourselves and proactively practice self-love. However, often that lost soul part doesn't come back without our prompting it to do so through very direct self-healing efforts. That's where the practice of soul retrieval comes in. Some of the symptoms you might have if you are in need of soul retrieval are if you've ever found yourself saying and feeling that after a certain life trauma, you were never the same again in a negative way. There may also be feelings of being lost or incomplete, as if to be disconnected from life, going through life in a mental haze, constantly escaping into distractions such as TV, video games, shopping, drugs, alcohol, or other addictions. Feeling maybe out of body or chronically ungrounded, chronic depression, immune system problems, anxiety, grief, chronic illness or misfortune, blocked memories, lack of joy, inability to make decisions, feeling disconnected from your intuition, or feeling a loss of energy and general motivation in life. Soul retrieval can help heal these things and often makes a beautiful, progressive healing contribution to your full recovery. So what is soul retrieval like? How do we do it? In traditional shamanic soul retrieval, the shaman or healer will enter an altered state and journey into the spirit world with the help of spirit guides to retrieve the lost soul fragment of the person in need of healing. Upon guiding that lost soul fragment back, we reconfront the original pain that caused this part of your soul to retreat. Often, this can involve purging or releasing that pain. So it is healing to allow any natural emotions that arise to flow. Tears are an amazing cleanser and often help us immensely through soul retrieval. In my work as a healer, the angels have guided specific practices into the traditional shamanic approach that help us to reintegrate lost soul fragments in a very gentle manner. When I work with the angels through soul retrieval, I channel the angels to guide my clients into deep meditative shamanic journey states, which can be very helpful if that's something you're seeking. This will help you to become very receptive and in touch with spiritual energy work. Then the angels will often use things like sacred geometry combined with energy healing techniques to help to filter, clear, or heal the pain of the past as the lost soul fragment re-enters the person that is being healed. After a soul retrieval, many people feel more grounded and present in their mind and their physical body. Some people feel strong emotions that require plenty of rest and quiet to gradually honor and integrate them. Some people feel extremely uplifted, celebratory, maybe joyful after that soul retrieval because their energy levels are now much higher than they were before. Many people experience what we call aha moments or revelations in which we understand ourselves or others at a much deeper level, oftentimes involving lost or repressed memories that now return. The results vary from person to person based on the point that you're currently on in your healing journey. It is important to understand that soul retrieval is not a quick fix to problems either. Though I have witnessed soul retrieval to contribute to radical, powerful healing that can really turn our lives around, it is important to remember that we have to be willing to do the work involved in maintaining our well-being. For those of us that have already, let's say, done lots of self-loving work on ourselves, Maybe soul retrieval will be the final step in your healing journey that opens the gateways to your lasting joy and peace. For those of us who may not have done quite so much healing work on ourselves in the past, soul retrieval may be a powerful beginning to your healing journey that catalyzes direction and specific action steps for your path, your continued integration of the healing. 
Whatever the case may be, it is important to understand that in all forms of healing, we must be willing to participate and do our own inner work. Your shaman, healer, or therapist is your co-creator who can direct you and help you make the most of your path to self-discovery and self-empowerment. But no one can learn the spiritual lessons of another soul for them. However, we can make a big impact in helping each other along the way, of course. So what kind of work can we do to either prepare for a soul retrieval if you're doing one or maintain wholeness, well-being, and joy after a soul retrieval? Well, it's important to be willing to look deep within ourselves. Listen to what your current state, feelings, and heart have to tell you, even if that means that you have to look at the shadow parts of you that don't always look so comfortable to examine. I find often that actually journaling is an incredible way to have this kind of deep conversation with your inner self. Or for some, therapy offers a great space to do this, whether it's traditional talk therapy or whether it's something like angel therapy, just talking it out with someone else. Whatever healing modality you choose, one of the main components of doing the work to heal ourselves is to be willing to take a new perspective on the self and explore who we are. The other two major components of self-healing that support soul retrieval are self-love and forgiveness. Be willing to protectively and unconditionally love yourself and all of your thoughts, choices, relationships, and lifestyle practices. Self-love can help us overcome literally any challenge that life may have to offer, no matter how big or how small. And forgiveness, according to the angels, is the magical golden master key to all healing. Be willing to ask yourself whom you need to forgive, whether this includes people from your past or situations out in the world, or most importantly, yourself. True willingness to heal is the core necessary ingredient for great and powerful changes. And this always begins by going in with your heart. We are all here together on this planet, in this life that we share because we are participating in both personal and collective soul healing. Your personal healing and inner spiritual work are the magical ingredients to discovering and completing your life purpose with flying colors, as well as achieving lasting joy and fulfillment, abundance, health, well-being. Thank you so much for watching this video today, you guys. Know that I am praying for your healing and truly believe that you are capable of anything upon which you set your heart and mind. If you liked this video, go ahead and leave me a thumbs up. You can subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell below so that you'll know when I have made a new video for you. Do keep in touch on social media via the links that you will find in the description below. And if you would like to learn more about getting your own angelic soul retrieval, you can visit my website at sarahhall.com. All of my love to you, dear one. Know that until we meet again, you are so loved and so very blessed. Bye.